Kemper Profiler Tones and Talks. Welcome back to Wah Wah Wahnsinn, as we say in German. Uh, with me is Mr. Thomas Dill. Hi, Tom. We uh, covered a lot of things uh, regarding the Wah Wahs and, um, you know, the basics, uh, the tones and uh, how you can go to even some extremes with uh, the access uh, in the profiler to the Wah Wah parameters. And in this episode, um, Thomas will dive more into, you know, uh, extended Wawa concepts, uh, if you can call it like this, or uh, even um, some 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 monster-like um, um, developments, um, weird um, ways of uh, where or how what the Wawa uh, can be turned into. So um, I'm pretty curious uh, about what he comes up with. I just stepped into the different settings for WAV the last time. And uh, yeah, you see all these different WAV effects that are in the profiler and in in these uh, effect settings. So uh, I thought about, yeah, why give them a try? The WAV pedals like vowel filter, wah phaser, wah rate reducer, some effects that are not really usual and common for guitar playing uh, styles or guitar, yeah, normal guitar effects. So there, there are some, some effects inside that um, you don't really know <laughs> when you, <laughs> even me. So, so I was always trying, okay, what's that? Wow, rate reducer, what can I do with that? So starting with a preset and then, oh, oh, okay. Um, they are really um, sometimes scary. <laughs> do, doing some, some really, uh, yeah, complete turning uh, everything upside down, but you can use them. And that, that was my attempt to uh, get some sounds that you can, yeah, really use. So for more a broad range, not only these experimental stuff. So there are some experimental stuff, things going on, but also some, yeah, let's say useful sounds for common guitar playing. And um, yeah, I can start. Yeah, let's just dive into and yeah. uh, meet the monsters. Yes, here are, so here is the rig manager. And here are my WAR settings. I have five prepared. The WAR boost, talk box, phaser, rate reducer and ring modulator. The first thing, and that uh, was because of the la last episode where we talk about boosting um, with the WAR pedal. And I thought, yeah, I need to do something and uh, to to get some sounds with the pedal mode off. You can see here the bar pedal mode is off. So the basic tone is that one. So crunchy guitar tone and And now, while on, pedal mode off, this, this is the setting. So what's going on here? The pedal mode is off, so that means when I move the pedal, nothing happens. You see here, I have connected the morph pedal to wah, so you can see the pedal movements here. But this mm -hmm. is only wah, no morphing going on, just for the visual understanding. Um, manual is the main focus parameter, and this adjusts the frequency. What you, yeah, let's say what, what it's a bit boosted by the wah effect. So when I, oh, now. Be careful with the, <laughs> with the morphing. Again, when I turn that down, you get a lower boost. And another thing 
So where I should start with the mix level is at 20%. So this is for the normal sound. Um, I will raise that up to 100% so that it's better audible. <laughs> bit higher way much higher so there's a small range very fine tunable and the thing is if you turn the mix down let's say at 50% then it's a very good mix level between the normal signal and the wah effect and another thing what i did was the volume that's what you do most of all the time boosting and we have here a clear and uh, yeah let's say a pure boost so neutral boost when you turn the volume at zero, you have this one. So same level as when I turn the effect off. So the same gain, let's say that. And now with volume at yeah about 4.4, you get a better boost then and turning the manual at 4.3 i think that's that would be perfect um if you have the riff on tap <laughs> and <laughs> You most probably have you, you you can guess what i'm you, after no um money for nothing ah if you yeah, yeah. so some something close something, yeah, yeah, that so this close video to... doesn't get uh, uh demonetized or uh, we don't monetize yeah, them anyways yeah. but not blocked um yeah, so, it would um, be this, this. so it would be this fixed wah thing that you can then dial in uh, very conveniently if you yeah. need some constant frequency mm -hmm. boost, special frequencies with a very yeah. uh, uh, sharp peak. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And what I found out, I've, I'm using the Strat here. Um, it's totally different when you use other guitars, these uh, frequencies for, for the wah pedal. So um, yeah, you, you can, I will uh, put this one into the rig uh, exchange, but it's all needs some fine tuning uh, for your guitar and uh, especially what comes later, these touch wah uh, sounds. They've all need some fine tuning because it's tuned or you yeah, have adjusted to my guitar and to the output of the guitar and to the frequency range of the pickups and all that so um yeah you need to play a little bit do some small tweaks then to get these tones but just to to give you an example how you can use this boost and what is really fine and i think way much better than uh, boosting with a wah pedal um, you have this mix parameter and you can just smooth adjust the 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 manual or the the frequency that is boosted and then mix level turning down or the the yeah mix level that you like to have because this one yeah this is the money for nothing tone with mix level i can show you at maximum and um, you get a more yeah subtle tone or here 
Just a little bit. So really fine tunable boost with that. So the, the main parameters is how much do you want to boost, so the volume level, and uh, this can be yeah, from zero to five. And um, then the manual, for me, the, the uh, best way was at about 4.3 I had, and then something between three and five. So other things uh, that you, you heard that um, when, when I turned the manual parameter of uh, more than uh, one o'clock setting, then it was too much, too, too peaky, too mm -hmm. high, high frequency style. So um, yeah, this is one normal thing. The next. Uh, and pretty interesting in one, one uh, final word to this, uh, because then you could use uh, morphing to adjust the mix just the mix maybe and and um, dial that one in uh, that, that that could be also useful and then um, if you play um, also around with the peak because that uh, defines how steep yeah. um, the, yeah. the filter works and uh, with this you can also um, fine-tune pretty much this frequency boost that you get for uh, for your tone much more flexible than uh, with uh, you know some other yeah. boosters so that's an option um, and for lead stuff uh, that might be the final thing that that helps to uh, to get through the noise yeah. of uh, the entire band so first of all getting getting more gain for your better play feel more sustain with the volume raised up and then with this wah setup setup uh, and these this special frequency you get this small point where you cut through the mix without boosting your all volume so this mm. is always nice to have in live situations and in the studio cool yeah okay so um i was thinking not about using morph on that one because it should be a simple boost switch Nothing on Nothing more. switch forget on it. forget it play have fun switch off yeah Okay, next one. Now we're coming to this guy here. <clears throat> and this is working with the pedal. Pedal mode is on. Um, it's the wow vowel filter. So um, <clears throat> in the manual, they, uh, they say a vowel filter simulates a talk box effect. So something nearly. And uh, there are vowels that are created and they have a broader range compared to normal vowel filters because um, they have the, some European, as they call it, uh, vowels included. So the Ö and the Ä and Ü, they, they all have that. So um, this is how it sounds like with this setting. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, okay. I expected Not aha, uh -huh, it's uh, I, I. <laughs> I, I. Yeah, I expected something completely different, more like a. Uh... Tommy used to work on the dogs, you know. No, no, that no, not that G one. Gina um, works the diner all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a it's a simple. So I I didn't want to to create this uh, really talk box effect, and um, hmm. this is something very very special. I just wanted to have it uh, as an extended version of a wah pedal so so you have this this movement but just different and getting this yeah. 
So that's something that's, different than a war. Yeah, that's more like um, Mr. Y, Y, uh, Yankee Rose. Mm, okay. So where he's sort of having a conversation with Mr. Roth uh, on the guitar, um, where he's creating these vowels. So that would be helpful if you uh, would take this one uh, for for stuff like that. That might be possible. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. With, with some some more gain and um, what you can use here is the pedal range. So the pedal range says how uh, far these vowel go vowels go. So if I turn that up. Yeah, yeah, cool. That one. So uh, if you are really close here in the middle, nothing much happens. And going all the way up, you get all. So you can do some some weird stuff then uh, with all the wows and uh, all that. And yeah, of course you can maybe load an octave or some some boost stuff uh, on that. Um, no problem. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm just starting my rig manager right now to uh, <laughs> turn the camera make make, make a version with. Um, the uh, the vowel filter there it is I just load the type and try it out later so <laughs> okay so next one um going back here we are next one was uh, very interesting the wah face and it came uh, I just tried that um, effect in some way of setting uh, that you can see here mm -hmm. and uh, there was a riff that came to my ears Do you know that stuff? It sounds familiar, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't ring a bell. Um, like it doesn't come with a band or a name or so. Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Okay. Kill it, Carol. Ah, oh yeah, yeah. That was in, uh, originally mm -hmm. played with a voice box. Oh, yeah, talk box. Mm -hmm. uh, great sound, great, uh, yeah, great riff. And um, it's not really that talk box sound, but uh, it works very, very fine for that riff. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at it. Uh, so what I had was uh, the analog octava. I will turn that off. So this is the setting and mm. now the pedal mode is for touch. So that means we have these touch parameters here, touch attack, touch release and touch boost. And manual is really low, peak in the center and the pedal range is up to 100%. So when I pick the strings very soft, you get this one. When I pick them hard, we have this pew. So you have all in your
your fingers all the evil stuff and um, <laughs> the main thing to adjust to get this evil stuff is the touch boost here so normally when it's not on when i pick the strings hard i only get this sound mm -hmm. now this is like a boost for the input level so when I boost that and now touch this or I hit the strings hard, we have this bow. What I don't have when I have it at zero. So this, when I turn that all the way to 5.7, it's too much. So now when, when you have the boost too much, then uh, yeah, the low level notes don't have this great sound. So, so you, you don't have this range that you want to have. So with what I had, uh, I had two, 3.2. So then I have this range from uh, yeah, lower sounds to this bell. <laughs> and it has a phaser in there so that means um yeah you have a phasing effect at added to this wah effect you can turn some stages on <laughs> mix is at 75 percent so um just a little bit not that much at 100 percent with less stages is more uh subtle <laughs> So all this uh, funk stuff, this um, yeah, Mutron style, uh, Qtron, Qtron uh, electro harmonic style. So for this. <laughs> all this, is, this stuff can be done with a VAR phaser in touch mode. Okay, next one. Wait, we definitely have to. Um... <laughs> I've been thinking uh, while you were doing stuff, uh, we should do something like, uh, uh, like n not a contest. A, consta a cont contest is stupid. Like an online festival of uh, you know uh, people who use the creative weird effects of the mm. profiler and do something musically uh, with it, and uh, they should make videos, and uh, we could put together a playlist, and uh, you know post this to everybody so yeah. to have a you know this uh, weirdo experimental guitar tone festival there for, are much uh, for, for profiler players because definitely I've, I've never visit this uh, I never seen that menu and these parameters so uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for leading me into yeah. uncharted undiscovered uh, yeah, yeah, uh, territories yeah, yeah. again it was mm -hmm. it was the same for me <laughs> so uh, okay what's that wow phaser checking out okay uh -huh, uh uh don't kill it carol okay that's one <laughs> so um but uh added with that that's what i uh, need to show to you uh the octava um here we go so this is a normal sound and then with the octava um this is my favorite setting um voice balance to minus 50 that means it's just one octave not two octaves below so you get this low mm -hmm. end sound um mix level at the middle off now but i think that can have that zero setting. Uh -huh. So this typical synth bass style 
stuff. Okay, next one. This is something special and something with morphing. Um, <clears throat> it's the rate reducer. And yeah, it sounds like this. superstitious wow and um yeah what is that it reduces the sampling rate of the audio signal and um with the manual parameter you can control this uh yeah this pitch or oscillator stuff <laughs> And um, what I did was I, I started with this setting. So mix at 100% and then you get this one. Way too much. What, what do you say? Pac-Man sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's right and uh, to get it yes i would say useful for some stuff the mix level should be turned down and uh pedal mode is off so it's fixed adjusted mm -hmm. and um yeah then manual when you turn it up frequency So while I was playing with that uh, <laughs> parameter, I thought, oh, I need to morph that one. <laughs> and um, yeah, turning the mix down, then go to the morph sound and let's say going from in this range. So that means a oh, little bit more. So that was the second thing. Then I thought, okay, it's nice, but um, it needs to be heard. So now, next morph sound, bass sound, mix level at 23%, and morph sound, mix level at, yeah, let's say 50%. So now you have this, uh, yeah, this moving sound, this broken tone, this uh, radio frequency. And uh, this is nice to have when, when you have, uh, when you play. So longer notes and you can have this uh, dirty movement then. So yeah, great, great to use. Amazing news for guitar players. So, um, especially for the traditional ones who think digital is shit, anyways. So, uh, here's more digital. <laughs> <laughs> Less bit rate is uh, is sometimes more. Yeah, more and, more more digital than digital. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, praise the artifacts. Don't uh, um, try to avoid them. Um, feature them. And the next thing, what, what I thought is, okay, sounds dirty, sounds uh, like a broken amp. That was my intent then when, when I started working with this effect. And then, uh, yeah, as always, okay, broken amp, we need more. And um, yeah, <laughs> turning on the fuss. <laughs> This is amazing. This is more fast than fast. That's yeah. that's 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 uh, electric digital digital 
weird um flower blues this is <laughs> uh, um, this is just amazing uh, guys make something with your band and this tone just a trio and improvise that would be awesome that so, would be uh, absolutely awesome next step next step could be uh adding an octaver but i won't do that now so um yeah leave it leave it like it is and uh, you can everybody can uh, check out some some other stuff with these reducing and fuzzy tones awesome okay uh the next one the last one for today is the ring modulator <laughs> is um, set to touch and um, yeah it sounds like this <laughs> Okay. What's that delay? Was that the delay or was that part of the ring modulator? <laughs> I was just now checking. Uh, That's what's one of the, the space. What's the reaction? What, what, what? That's one of the space echo echoes together with maybe, the ring modulator. Maybe, maybe some some stuff. Um, Jimmy Page. Know, if it's the the space 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 echo, but you didn't really hear the effect because I played short notes and I hit the strings hard. But when uh, I hit the strings not that hard, so for uh, that tone. Uh, this tone when you play some uh, you play hard picked note <laughs> and it's going somewhere around so it works really well with the delay and um, it's I will show you the settings now <clears throat> to be enjoyed best with uh, a couple of puffs or some edibles <laughs> 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 so pedal mode is touch touch boost is turned really at a low level 1.2 so that means when i'm um and ducking is at 2.1 so that means when i'm playing and hit the strings hard you don't hear the effect this is without the effect effect turned on hmm. now without ducking it's another game yeah so for me that wasn't useful so ducking turning on and this is then the effect at 2.1 when you play a note and um at first, when you play the note yeah, at a normal level, you hear the tone and in the end of the tone, so at the sustain note, then the effect gets more present. So, so it's really nice uh, sounds, a bit different, but usable. So uh, in, in normal musical genres playable, m maybe not in the blues band, but in the traditional blues band. But um, yeah, 
it's great to have and the mix level was at 81 percent so it's a high mix level but with this ducking effect you get this one turned down when you're playing and it's not in in the way when you are playing and uh, you can hear the notes and um, yeah this is the problem with those ring modulating rate reducing effects that they are very prominent and uh, yeah, they disturb the tone, disturb the sound. So turning the mix down or turning the ducking a little bit on um, is less disturbing of the sound and of the tone. So in that way, that, that was my uh, learning effect with uh, experimenting with all those special wah effects um, was definitely use the mix level or use some some bit of ducking and then it works really fine and you're getting some yeah special tones and <clears throat> even if you have just the mix level at 20 percent and then turn it off play your part and it sounds more unique when you turn the effect on and it's get, getting this little twist, that, this little uh, nastiness for this tone. And sometimes it's great to have this nastiness. Yeah, and pff, um, this may sound uh, uh, disrespectful, but uh, I don't mean that uh, disrespectful in no way. Um, it reminds me uh, this year at the Superbooth trade show in Berlin, mm -hmm. uh, there was a performance of uh, Hildur, good, whatever, I don't f uh, remember the last name properly. Uh, she got an Oscar for the soundtrack uh, for Joker mm -hmm. and also did the soundtrack for Chernobyl, uh, the TV series. So uh, this amazing musician, she's a cello player and uh, she was performing there with a self-constructed cello. It had two tone generators in there with the speakers. So with the tone generators, she was driving the speakers and the speakers made the thing resonate and so. So um, what she did basically was 40 minutes of uh, stuff that you basically um, created with a ring modulator when you were playing softly. <laughs> but, you know, with a, you know, uh, there were um, movements and stuff like that. So, and I thought, right now um because that was in the art performance context you know and i just had this weird thing uh okay. if you show up with a profiler at, at an exhibition uh you know paintings and art people and and you have some pedals set up with these things and maybe the looper and some delays and stuff like that you can create some really impressive mm artsy Definitely. stuff yeah. that's not really guitar like for i think easily for 30 minutes and then you get your 800 bucks and off you go <laughs> i mean, I mean thinking, uh, thinking of proper oscar. business getting an oscar yeah or that yeah or yeah i mean it's business for musicians because uh looking thinking outside the box yeah yeah i know um <laughs> that's a little <laughs> bit far-fetched but these things just kept in my mind yeah i mean again um thank you for helping us to look into uh places and corners of the profilers uh, effects and the power uh, no man has ever seen before or woman no um i mean yeah that's that's pretty cool stuff to like add some things maybe here and there just a little e extra spice that's pretty interesting yeah and they, they work very good with yeah if you have the, these delays set up then with the fuzz or octaver so these these were my go-to additional effects or additional tools and colors to get this uh, sound a little bit more more unique but it's uh, it's yeah definitely uh, depending on what you need what you like to do if you're playing in the pop music style maybe there is a sound that that you can really need um, in traditional ways it's maybe far over the top so um, yeah but 
it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also I think in in in, in hip hop or rap, um, yeah. because when you have these beats, uh, they very often do like this weirdly detuned, you know, mashed up samples that go on for the entire track. I mean, this could be done completely different approach, uh, maybe with a guitarist, mm. and and uh, you have the bass, the 808, and the beat, and then great performance on top of that uh, that would be also a different flavor and a new style for um, that genre that uh, um, yeah maybe if the audience wants that uh, is ready for some new flavors and some new style as well also here uh, thinking outside the box uh, but anyways regardless what you do and what you think um, it's uh, opening your palette of tools and um might open your mind so try this at home and possibly not only at home let's think about this how we how we we could do this online festival of uh, you know contributors um under the umbrella of um the weird stuff possible with the profiler yeah. that might be fun yeah, yeah. okay cool did we, did you forget anything or did I, I cut you short? Uh, no, no, regarding? definitely not. I have uh, just looking at my list. No, there is nothing to add now. Okay. Because just I... saying next time it's getting normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sorry for hijacking uh, that subject for some philosophical um, no. art artistic musings, but uh, I think these are also important. Cool. Yeah, thank you so much again, and uh, everybody try this at home. As I said, uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.